5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits. Is their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. What would happen if you lived in a very busy city and all of a sudden you lost the function of quite a few different things which usually are considered vital? So, for example, what would happen if there were no more hospitals, no more police stations, no more fire stations, and no more schools? Or if the doctors were all of a sudden all gone, the police officers were gone, the firefighters were gone, and the teachers were gone? Or if you lived in a city and you lost all your memory? Or all of a sudden you lost your ability to sleep? What would happen if you, li if you had these factors happening to you in that kind of environment? There would probably be some kind of problem that would result because these parts we mentioned are all vital. For the different reasons, they're vital to make sure your body, not your body, but your city life and your life goes on like normal. So what we have to discuss in this video, I'll read the top point. It says, outline how the functions of genes, mitosis, cell differentiation, and cell specialization assist in the maintenance of health. So here we've discussed a couple of things that you know might be important for you in your everyday life in terms of life of a busy city. Now what we have to discuss is how these things, which could be compared to things we mentioned here, how these things can be are important in your body to make sure your body runs normally. So I'll start with the first one that we mentioned. Or actually, we'll start with cell differentiation, what that was. So cell differentiation, you might have heard that word stem cells before. And stem cells is known as a undefined cell. So it's a undefined cell. I'm going to go over what that means. So you can see here this cell here has no function yet. It has no structure. It has a, it has a structure, but it's a very general structure. And it has no function yet. What cell differentiation means is we can go from that stem cell, the original stem cell. So we have a stem cell. And we can go into other cells. So what I wrote is allows us to produce cells that have different structures. So we go from original stem cell into, for example, RB. So that's red blood cells. We can make out of that stem cell. We can make white blood cells. I'm going to write WB cells. We could make nerve cells, nerve cells as well, muscle cells. Any different type of cell comes originally from a stem cell. Now, why might that might that be important? Well. What role do the red blood cells have, for example, in our body? Red blood cells carry oxygen. So if we had no red blood cells, we couldn't carry any oxygen. And that would mean our actual cells in our body would not be able to survive. What happened if we had no white blood cells? We couldn't make those. Well, if we couldn't make any white blood cells, that would mean we have no immune system, no immune defense against quite a few pathogens, and that would be a problem as well. What happens if we have no nerve cells? Nerve cells are really important when it comes to sending messages from the brain to different parts of the body. It's like you post in your email. If we, had no, if we didn't have that, we would have massive problems as well. People who have that, uh, nerve cells that are damaged, they're usually paralyzed. That's just an example of what happens if you, know, you have no nerve cells. Then you have loose function of most parts of our body. Now, these were just a couple. Now, obviously, I can go on. I can talk about muscle cells and brain cells, which are actually the neurons. I've mentioned them already. But I can talk about different types of cells. But you get a gist. You get the gist that they're really important. And we need to have them. And cell differentiation allows us to have them. That's what cell differentiation It makes that original structure, which was the stem cell, and then we can go in from that into different type of structures. So for example, you know, it, it differentiates to produce yeah, liver cells, nerve cells, and blood cells. That's the first part. And we need to have that because we need to have all these different types of cells in our body to make sure our body works as it should. Now, what is cell specialization? That's actually quite similar to cell differentiation, but there's a slight difference. So what I wrote is it gives different types of cells their specialized roles. So with cell differentiation, the first part, what that meant was that we can go from, for example, from our stem cell into our neuron, right? So that was the neuron here. So now we have changed the structure and we made a neuron. So we changed structure. That was the first part. But what that cell specialization does, this is where we actually give the neuron, the new cell, its role. So we tell it what to do. It's kind of like looking, viewing the cell differentiation as a hospital. So we have the structure, you know, we have a hospital, and our cell specialization to be the doctor. So then we need to have doctors to actually make sure the hospital runs properly. So the neurons were made for cell differentiation, and then they were told to transmit messages with the help of cell specialization. So they transmit messages. 
with the help of cell specialization, which is why we often say cell differentiation and specialization in the same sentence, because they're quite related. So here we have a neuron, and we got that neuron originally through cell differentiation, and then now it's transmitting messages, it's actually doing its job, and that was done through cell specialization. And obviously cell specialization is really important because if we just have the structures, but they're not doing what they're meant to be doing, then we're not going to have all those normal body functions being done. So we both cell differentiation and specialization work together to make sure that we have lots of different types of cells and they all perform their unique function to make sure our body goes on as it should. The next thing was, so that was cell different differentiation and specialization covered. Next we're going to talk about are the genes. What is a gene? Well, a gene is this. So genes produce polypeptides that lead to the formation of proteins. So a gene's main role is to make proteins. Now, what could we use these proteins for? I'll give you one example, and you don't have to remember this example for your test, but hair. So hair itself is made out of a protein called collagen. That collagen is made by genes, and people who have hair loss, what happens is in hair loss, you're going to have a gene that's responsible for making that protein stop working. So this collagen, this a gene produces collagen, and that collagen makes hair. And what is hair loss? Well, that means we have the gene stops working, which means no more collagen is produced, which means no more hair are produced, and then we have hair loss. Again, this is obviously it's not a disease. We don't hair loss itself is not a disease, but it's just an example of how important genes are because these genes make these proteins. And the vast majority, so a lot of our body is made up of protein. So it's made of protein, which means if we have a lack of these proteins, we will literally have bad health. And the one example that you might be good to remember would be our DNA repair proteins. So these proteins help us to repair our DNA. So here the picture here, you can see this is meant to be these screws are meant to be representing of our DNA. And as you can imagine, every now and then there might be a mistake or a problem that occurs. And these proteins, which are here rep represented by this tool here, will repair the, pro the problem when it comes about. And remember, DNA is important because basically every genes are DNA, so they can actually repair themselves. And DNA makes these proteins, which are vital. So there can be a protein which is actually made by a gene. But this, but this function of the proteins is simply to control our DNA and make sure everything is gone as it should. Right? So this gene produces the DNA protein, and the DNA protein repairs our DNA. It does it constantly because it always checks to make sure everything is done correctly. And we're going to talk about that more in the next video as well. But then yeah, it just repairs our DNA, and whenever there's any problem, then there is it's repaired. So what happens if that gene, for whatever reason, isn't working properly. Well, that means we don't produce this DNA repairing protein anymore, and that's gone. And what that means is our, our DNA is not being repaired, and that's gone. And then what can that lead to? Well, that could, for example, the big thing that that can lead to is cancer itself. And we'll talk about that more in the next video. But that's just to show you how a gene can be vital to maintain our health, because without this gene which produces this DNA repairing protein, we wouldn't be able to repair our DNA, and that would lead to cancer. So genes are really important when it comes to maintaining health. Now, and then the last one was mitosis. Mitosis, as you might remember from year 11, is asexual reproduction, which means this can happen without, in your body itself, without a sexual partner. And this obviously is, is done because it allows for the continued production of new cells. If I were to ask you know, how many cells do we have in our body, you might still know that number. It's a couple billion. So we have billions of cells, actually more, I think trillions even. So billions of cells in our body. And they need to be replenished because if you have billions of cells, they don't live forever. They don't live as long as we do. So they die on a daily basis. Quite a few of them die on a daily basis. And when they die, they need to be replaced. So they die on a daily basis and need to be replaced. Because, like, for example, if you consider your heart, you know, your heart is just not one thing. It's actually made up of millions and billions of cells. So if we lose our cells, eventually we lose the function of our heart. So we want to make sure we keep the levels up of our cells, so everything's okay. So they die, they die on a daily basis, these cells die on a daily basis, and they have to be replaced on a daily basis. And what does mitosis do? Well, mitosis means that we go from one cell, a parent cell, into two identical daughter cells. So if one cell dies, what happens to cells around it? They'll start to 
replicate to mitosis to make new cells. So if one dies, new ones are made, and everything stays the same. Homeostasis in terms of the number of cells is quite constant. And again, that's really important for the function of organs. And also, if, for example, this cell here, let's say this cell had a problem, it was something that was incorrect, there was a problem, it can actually kill itself. There's something called apit apoptosis. I have a really big problem pronouncing that word. But that just means cell death, planned cell death. And that what happens is this cell kills itself, and that would be a problem because obviously that would mean we have less cells, but it wouldn't be a problem if there would be cells around it, which then can replicate and make more cells again. So this mitosis is absolutely essential to keep our levels of cells up at a normal level. And this yeah, helps our organs functioning as they should, because we all need to have not just one cell working in the heart, but we need to have billions of them at all times. So I'll cover it quickly again what the stop point is all about. So it's outline the factors, or outline how the functions of genes, mitosis, cell differentiation, and cell specialization assist in the maintenance of health. And these were some of the reasons why. So we need to have cell differentiation to make these different structures. So for example, we go from stem cells to red blood cells, white blood cells, nerve cells. That was that. And then cell specialization gives them their actual function. So for example, free cell differentiation, we get a neuron. And then free cell specialization, we actually make sure the neuron does its job, which is transmit messages. Genes, well, genes produce proteins, and these proteins are absolutely vital when it comes to maintaining a normal health. For example, the example we gave was that gene that produces the DNA repair protein, which repairs our DNA, and without this DNA repair protein, we'll get cancer. Now, mitosis, mitosis is all about asexual reproduction. So this is how cells divide to make more cells. And this is important because we need to have a given amount of cells in our body at all times, and because they die on a daily basis. They also need to be replaced on a daily basis. So by having mitosis, we mean we can make more and more of them, even when they're dying. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.